the situation has worsened. Recently, the loss of our oil has reached 1 million barrels per day. Translated into monetary terms, our loss is monumental and deleterious. The figures show we are not able to meet the OPEC daily quota of 1.8 million barrels per day for our country. Mr. President, I consider the oil thieves the worst enemies of our country. The thieves have declared war on our country and our people. I strongly feel that we need to take the necessary measures to stop the thieves immediately. Otherwise, our economy will be completely devastated. Also, our efforts to provide the necessary infrastructure and diversification of the economy would both be thwarted. It is time to take drastic and desperate measures against the thieves. Mr. President, the situation becomes more unfortunate if we factor in the budget deficit estimated at 7 trillion naira and the green prospect of its increase to about 11.3 trillion naira as presented in the 2023-2025 medium-term expenditure framework fiscal strategy paper. Mr. President, permit me to convey the disquiet in the House of Representatives arising from the reports of a massive decline in the volume of crude oil exports due primarily to theft and diversion by criminal elements. It is the sense of the House of Representatives that those engaged in these activities are agents of economic sabotage, determined to bring our country to its knees. Therefore, our position is that their actions constitute treason against our country, for which they and their enablers whoever they may be, must be held accountable to the fullest extent permitted by law. Nigerians no longer want to hear about crude oil theft. The question has now become, what are we doing about it? Therefore, we are urging a swift and systemic overhaul of the systems in place to protect the country's oil and gas resources. Evidently, the arrangements in place are no longer adequate. As such, there is an obvious need for improvements to stop the loss of income occasioned by this ongoing sabotage. 